All right, what's going on everyone? So today we're gonna to be looking at how to create a slanted or skewed div using CSS. Okay, so for this example, we're gonna be using a sinoform. And as you can see on the left, we have a normal sinoform that has uh, no skewed or slanted div. But here on the right, using a little bit of CSS, we're gonna go ahead and achieve this slanted div that is separating the top of the sinoform from the bottom. And we're going to do this with a few properties, and one of those is going to be the transform, and we're also going to be using skew to actually achieve this right here. All right, so that's what we're going to be doing here today, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, before we get started, I think it's important to understand the HTML for this so you understand how we're going to be achieving the slanted div. So for this demo, I have a sign up form and we have this div with a sign up wrap, and then we have two main divs inside of that, which is going to be the sign up top and then the sign up bottom, which if I expand this here, you can see is our form and our sign up and our button. And then, oops, and then if we come down to the sign up bottom, it just simply has the H3 and then our uh, link container for our icons. Okay, so if we come over here to our sign up form and we take a look, you can see we have sign up top. And then if I inspect this, we have the sign up bottom. So what we need to do for this slanted div is somehow insert a uh, um, a shape in, in between the sign up top and the sign up bottom. Now, there's two different ways we can go about doing this. Now, if you wanted to insert a div between sign up top and sign up bottom, we can go ahead and do that and style it all up and that would work perfectly fine. But in this scenario, what I wanna do is not insert any additional HTML into this project. So what we're gonna be using here is the before selector on our sign up top div. Okay, so that's gonna allow us to insert this shape without actually using any additional HTML. So to kind of show you how this property works, what I can do is we can say content and we can say hello. And then if I scroll over to our project, you're gonna see that hello is inserted before anything else inside of our sign up top div. Okay, so hopefully that makes sense. And if we could, we could also use in this scenario after, and you can see that now the hello content is going to be inserted after our last element inside of the sign up top div. Okay, but for this example, we're going to just say before, and then we also don't want to put any content in here. Okay, so on top of the content property here, we also want to do a position of absolute and we want to set the left to zero, the right to zero, and we wanna set the bottom here to negative 20 pixels. So we don't wanna set it to zero, we actually wanna to go to the bottom and then 20 pixels below that, okay? And that's what I found worked best for this scenario. Now you're free to alter with any of these numbers that I'm doing here today. These are just what I thought worked the best. So. Next thing we want to do is explicitly define a height. And once again, this is what I found worked the best. So I'm going to do 50 pixels here. And then to show you what this looks like, let's do a background color of this gray. And if we scroll over, you can see now we have this rectangle here in between both of our divs. Okay, so that's kind of how that all works. Now, to get this slanted, we need to use the transform property here. So we're going to say transform and we want to skew on the Y axis. And once again, this is what I found worked the best. We can do negative three degrees here. And if we save that, you can see we now have this slanted div, but obviously we don't wanna have it this gray color. So let's go ahead and change this to white. And there we go, we have this nice slanted div. Now we're free to mess with this any way we want it. So if you wanted to go the opposite way, we could say three degrees, and now it would go from uh, kind of higher on the left to lower on the right. And we're also free to increase this or decrease this. So if we just wanted to do something a little bit more minimal, we could say one. And you can see now we have a little bit less of a slant, but it's still, obviously, it is slanted here. So uh, I'm actually gonna change this back to three. And yeah, that is how you go ahead and create a slanted div using the CSS transform property. All right, so like I was saying, that is how you go ahead and create a slanted or skewed div using the CSS transform property along with skew on the Y axis. So hopefully you guys did enjoy it. If you guys did, be sure to leave a like down below and subscribe for more content like this. And I will see you guys in the next video.